Firstly, you are really wasting your time watching a solution video. You should be doing this problem on your own. But in case if you are continuing to watch or you just want a hint, let's start with the first problem from ISI 2018. There are two equations. One of them is sine of x plus y over 2 equal to 0 and absolute value of x plus absolute value of y equals to 1. Now whenever you have two equations, one of them is trigonometric and one of them is a normal algebraic equation, the main strategy is look at the graph of these uh, equations and see where they intersect or overlap. That's the, uh, so this is the main hint, look at graphs, draw pictures. Now let's look at the first one sine of x plus y equal to 0, x plus y over 2 equal to 0. This implies that x plus y by 2 is an integer multiple of pi. So k is an integer and if you don't know why that is true just look into the general idea how sine of an angle works. If this angle is theta and if the length of this rotating needle so think of this as a rotating needle and if this angle is theta the, and the length of the needle is 1 then you can imagine sine of theta as this height. So this height becomes 0 only when the needle is lying flat on the x-axis. So when the needle is like this or when the needle is like this. So these are two situations. Both of these situations are contained in this expression k pi. So either uh, even multiple of pi or an odd multiple of pi. So this implies that x plus y by 2 or x plus y itself is equal to 2k pi or more importantly y is equal to negative x plus 2k pi. What is this? This is actually a set of straight lines. More importantly, all these straight lines have the same slope. The slope is ne negative 1. Slope is negative 1. And the y-intercept, the y-intercept is 2k pi. So the, the k, k could be negative or positive. All right. Now, if we want to draw it, draw the picture of this, the, for k equal to 0, we have this line y equal to negative x this is for k equal to 0 and then for k equal to 1 we will have something like this so basically imagine this line floating upward for this is for k equal to 1 imagine this line floating upward and um, this y intercept is 2 pi similarly floating downward will be negative 2 pi the y intercept and this is for k equal to minus 1. So basically there will be this greed of parallel lines, uh, all of them with a slope of negative 1 and y intercept 2 k pi. So that's the picture of sine of x plus y over 2 equal to 0. The next thing that we want is the picture of x plus mod x plus mod y equal to 1. Now this is simply a uh, rhombus like this and this is these these points are 0 comma 1 1 comma 0 0 comma negative 1 and negative 1 comma 0 so why is the picture of uh, this equation absolute value of x plus absolute value of y equal to 1 looks like this well, whenever you have absolute value problems, so this is a general strategy again, general strategy, whenever you have absolute value problems, convert it into piecewise functions. So the absolute value symbol basically says that there are multiple equations hidden inside one, uh, one equation. So, Let's, let's do that in this case, absolute value of x plus absolute value of y equal to 1 and we have four cases, x greater than 0, y greater than 0, that's the first quadrant, x less than 0, y greater than 0, second quadrant, x less than 0, y less than 0, third quadrant, 
x less than 0 uh, x greater than 0 y less than 0 fourth quadrant so first quadrant the equation would be both of them are greater than 0 so absolute value would be just x and y that is equal to 1 second quadrant would be x is less than 0 so absolute value of x is negative x so negative x plus y equals to 1 similarly third quadrant is negative x negative y equal to 1 and finally fourth quadrant is x minus y is equal to 1 so basically draw these four lines and you will see you'll get exactly this picture so now how to solve these two equations how to solve these two equations well draw them in the same thing draw them together one above another and see where they intersect so let's do that if I draw it here they will intersect somewhere here and here and you'll see you understand that 2 pi is too large it is approximately 6.28 so similarly negative 2 pi is negative 6.28 so all other parallel lines will will miss these um, uh, this graph of absolute value of x plus absolute value of y equal to 1 so only these two points will work and you can find the co co coordinate of these two points uh, this problem is actually copied from um, a Russian book. It's a set of problems. Uh, there are like 300 good problems given by Yaglong. So this is a reference book that you can use. It's by Yaglong. You can find it online as well. Uh, this problem is exactly is, is an absolute copy of that problem from that book. All right, uh, see you in the next video. Again, do not watch solution videos. Try to do the problem on your own. The link in the description gives you uh, a direct access to our discussion page. And please subscribe if you want to watch more videos and learn some cool mathematics.